What's poppin' everybody? It's the Saber Wolf Fighting 4, Showdown Battles in Gen 3 against the Deadliest Noob. Uh, nice name, I guess. Funny name. Open up with my 450 mix. Nobody's gonna know this reference, unless maybe you're from Cyprus, in my town. But anyway, my Snorlax, you open up with a Metagross. Uh, this isn't completely ideal, but it's not fully bad. Uh, he hit me for a lot, got the boost. But I can hit him with Earthquake too. So he got the boost again and a crit. So he has all the damn luck in the world. But I'm going to force him to switch here or basically die. I got a kind of an unlucky start. But I mean, it, we were just going to have the disadvantage anyway. So substitute. Just trying to just uh, bluff him out. Get a free sub. He's just going to keep going though. I guess if he uses Meteor Mash, maybe there was a chance he was going to miss. But he did switch. And I got my sub up. Okay, Swampert. Well, you know... My hidden power is Ice, so... It's not really going to work. But because I got the substitute, I do want to get one free attack at least. So I don't know, maybe that scares him, maybe he's thinking, wait, what if this hidden power is grass? He doesn't know that. So maybe he'll switch again. He did. It's great. So, yeah, too bad for you. I get the free shot and I keep my substitute. But now he should know this is a hidden power ice, not grass. Okay, so what are you going to do? Um, I didn't really do much. I'm guessing this is a special defense Celebi. And he switched again. I'm going to go for the Calm Minds though. Even with the Blissey, like, I'm going to hit you hard. And uh, Fire Blast, yeah, I couldn't even get the substitute. Didn't even go with like Seismic Toss. So now the sub is out, but I got a bunch of boosts. And I'm not going to let you get the T-Wave. I'm still going to keep going. And he basically let this Metagross become mega dangerous now. Just a lot of boosts. Sub is up. I'll be killing a couple of his dudes by the time he can deal with this Raikou. There's no choice scarf shit in Gen 3, so yeah, he's going to be in trouble. Didn't even break the sub again thanks to all these special defense boosts. I mean, this Swampert is going to be out. Uh, whatever he promotes is going to be hurt. The Ice Electric combination puts in work, so Aerodactyl, he should have actually promoted this guy maybe a lot earlier. Like, obviously we can hit him and kill him, but he would have been faster. So, yeah, your princess is going to die too. Salamence, Aerodactyl, like everybody died, like made the mistakes, allowing this Raikou to set up. Everybody's dead now. Maybe he should have actually kept the Blissey, because I couldn't, I won't be able to do substitutes for days. And then his whole team is dead. Uh, it's just GG. So a great start. Going on to battle two, Blaziker Chicken. This guy's going to open up with a substitute, but I'm going to hit you with Earthquake. Uh, there's no close combat shit in like Gen 3, so even if this thing hits me with a fighting move... With my EVs the way they are, I know that I'll take one shot and kill you back. That's what bulk is about. You know, you hit me for a super effective, I hit you for a super effective, but our stats made that difference. So, Duck Trio, um, this thing is also toast. So Snorlax is putting in the work. He's gonna die, but getting two kills is uh, good enough. Excellent trade-off. As good as you can ask for. So Ninjask. Yeah, this guy's running all sorts of uh, like BL Pokemon. I mean, Duck True is like OU, but besides the Arena Trap and the speed, everything else about him is kind of meh, of course. It's got decent attack. I think it's like 80 or 85 base. I think it's 80. So when you can hit it with Earthquake Stab... It's all right with the choice band. Anyway, so Suicune, hit your ass with that ice beam. And uh, 
Celebi again is going to be hella annoying. But I decided to stick it out and just keep going with Ice Beam. Hopefully we get like a lucky freeze or something. But a critical hit really is what I want. Uh, Giga Drain didn't do too much. And I did get that Toxic off at least. So this thing is on the time clock. I just gotta, I can't let him keep the boots. I gotta like negate them. Force him to switch. Uh, I think maybe switching on to my Fortress makes sense. At least Giga Train won't do much. Or I can just do Ice Beam again. Uh, Metagross I suppose is another option. Even Raikou maybe. Uh, he's almost fully healed. I can try and do Calm Mind shit though, because this thing, he can't hit me for super effective, just go for neutral. So he did switch on to the Jirachi. Uh, I can th hit that thing for the, with a good T-Bolt. Gonna go for it again. This is gonna activate my berry. Petaya. So we got a couple of boosts. I think a T-Bolt... I mean, the Jirachi is probably going to live, but at least I'm going to hit it hard. Yeah, so he killed me, but at least we know the Jirachi is almost dead as well. Big threat. So, I'm going to go for my Swampert here. This is probably going to scare him away, or... Yeah, he did. Hit your ass with Earthquake. I uh, wish he didn't switch onto the Celebi, but I guess I should have seen that coming. So, Calm Mind, I survived the Hidden Power and then Sludge Bomb, man it didn't even die, but I did get the Poison at least. So he's almost dead, survived with 1 HP, so if he just wants to kill me, he's gonna die too, but I decided to switch, thinking that he's gonna do like Hidden Power Fire, and he did switch onto the Ninjask too, going for this uh, Sword Stance. Dude survived, it's almost a miracle, but it means that they've got like special defense or HP EVs. Uh, but it still killed it, not too much trouble. The Celebi, I mean, it, it cured the poison, but it's almost dead, so yeah, you're gonna do the Giga Drain. I'm gonna Ice Beam that shit, and it worked out, thankfully. And all that's left is Stormy and the Hurt Jirachi. I think we should be able to manage. So... Psychic Suicune is out. Um, my dudes are kind of hurt though, so... You know, the, the Starmie could clean us up. It's a cleaner at the end of the day. So Surf, that didn't do a lot. Okay, good. I'm feeling confident now. I can just easily two-shot this thing with Earthquake. So perfect. Jirachi isn't really a threat now too, so... We're good. Excellent. I mean, I can protect to be safe. You know, make sure we can take his shots. Get that extra leftovers healing. So gets the critical hit, but as long as you didn't get the fucking freeze, that's what matters. So got the GG again. Excellent. So battle number three. This is... Uh, Skarmory. I'm thinking, how many battles is this? Uh, it's one, two, it's, it's three. I think this is the last one in this batch. But anyway, so Skarmory, I can't really do much with uh, Snorlax. I mean, if it was Gen 4, then maybe we could have Fire Punch, but even then, it wouldn't do much on this thing. So I'm thinking, okay, I might as well get some free setup with uh, Fortress. He's going to get a free setup. I'm going to get free setup. But he has a Moltres, so gotta switch. Burning Rubber. It's kind of an insulting name, don't you think, for Moltres? Anyway, he's, ha he's carrying Hidden Power, probably Grass. And uh, I miss the Toxic, which is annoying. He also got the Burn. So now I'm gonna go with Surf. Maybe we should have done that from the start, but I'm thinking maybe he'll switch. So I kind of... I let the Suicune die, but it's not my fault the Toxic missed. 
So Raikou, this is a guaranteed kill. I mean, if he switches, I'll get that Calm Mind. I mean, no matter what he does, I'm going to get something free. So Substitute is going for Overheat. Hey, you want to do that? It's going to make my Substitute even more effective now. So here goes. Will-O-Wisp misses. Wouldn't work against the sub anyway. Yeah, you're not very smart if you're doing this crap on a Raikou. But he, damn, even with the sub and the Calm Mind, still, still got it. But I mean, this time, there's no way the sub is going to go down. So, Li, not Li Chi, the Pattaya Berry is activated. I got my sub and I got my boosts. So this thing is out now. And uh, he's going to go for that Duck Trio. Now this thing is faster, so I'm not going to bother doing Calm Mind, just gonna make sure it's out at least. So killed it. And then it's gonna throw in the Starmie. <sighs> we got the same speed, but okay, I'm, I'm lucky. I was faster. So took care of that too. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he must have a lack of good counters now. Nope, he's got the Blissey. Why didn't you promote this earlier? I don't get it, man. I can't hurt this thing, even with boosts. It, it's going to take those attacks much better than the other guys. So he finished me off, but he did have to lose a bunch of Pokemon. And now Snorlax should scare the Blissey away. His big HP normal Pokemon. So Brick Break, that's not going to do shit, I'm afraid. Um, Go for that Fortress again. At least I know he doesn't have like threats. To fuck with me now and I can get like free spikes and shit so might as well do it right Gengar so there's only one Pokemon that gets affected by spikes now I can't explode on this thing either so we're gonna throw in the Snorlax again and he goes for mean look uh, I guess I'm sticking around but do you really want this I got Shadow Ball so substitute as well. So this thing is some sort of uh, maybe Perish Dance shit. I don't know. Does Gengar even learn Perish Dance? I don't remember. Skarmory. I mean, I can switch again. So Fortress. And uh, I guess I'll do the third layer of Spikes, maybe. Yeah, at least this hurts the Blissey. Maybe we can slowly kill it this way. The thing is, though, is that I know all of his Pokemon and I got counters to everything. He's got counters for my shit, too, but... I mean, you know that the Gengar can't do shit. You know that the Skarmory wouldn't be able to do shit. He made a pretty risky play. And, of course, I punished the Gengar. So it's even worse for him now. Should have maybe went with the Skarmory. And, you know, I can't hurt this thing much, but he can't do a lot of shit to me back. And I'm just going to outgrind him. I got four Pokemon, two of which are completely fresh and unknown to him. So we did pretty okay. I mean, I can just try and break break all day. Or go for the GK Miner, I guess. I uh, try and get the paralysis. Maybe that's going to help too. So we did. Even more problems for you. Like, I got explosion on the fortress. So, Blissey shouldn't be a problem. Skarmory on its own. I mean, it can't do much. All I got to do is just keep attacking. And then eventually I think we'll be good. I don't have to mindlessly switch. I guess I could to get get this over with. So, yeah, that was bad. He's carrying Toxic. But I guess we're going to Surf. Man, that didn't do shit. I suppose I don't got any investment in Special Attack. This thing is going to die eventually. He's stalling with Protect, buying some time. I've seen all his moves now, though. I mean, it's got... Toxic, Protect, Spikes, and 
What else? I guess the fourth one would be maybe drill peg. Yeah, swamp pit is pretty much useless now. Uh, worse, worse weekly tough. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think so. But I guess it's being comical. Soft boiled, going for the surf. I should have done like earthquake. Anyway, so you got a sort of lucky kill because I wanted to be hasty, but the free like Metagross coming out, you know, there won't be any tricks this time around. He's probably going to have to switch and Meteor Mash is going to hurt. He let the uh, Blissey there, I guess just to make sure you paralyze me. But... I mean, it's we're both paralyzed. The scum is paralyzed too, so you can just try and stall, stall me out. I mean, the Blissey can't come in again. It's gonna die with the spikes. So yeah, it's it's game over, right? So he's gonna scoop. These are the battles. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a yeah.